In today's video, we'll create this amazing product label design using Pactora and Canva. So let's begin. First, open Pactora using the link given in the description. Go to mockups, then search for a shampoo bottle. We'll take this one. Click on Upload to go to the dye line page. Now, download this dye line in PDF format. Open Canva. Click on Upload. Then Upload Files. Upload the PDF file. Now, copy the dye line. Take a new page. Paste it on the new page. Make it the center of the canvas. After this, go to Elements, then Shapes. Take a square shape. Place it on the design area of the dye line. Change its color to light blue. Go to Elements. Search for an abstract curve shape. Go to the Graphics section. We'll take this one. Flip it horizontally. Rotate it to 90 degrees. Adjust its size and position. We'll take an indigo color for this shape. Now we'll add a Spanish marigold flower image. Now we'll make a custom brand name logo. For this, go to text, add a heading, type the brand name. Go to font, choose the Adlery Pro font. Change the font size to 50 pixels. Choose the indigo color. In this way, you can create a text logo using Canva. Now, add a subheading. Type your text. Choose the Montserrat bold font. Change the font size to 15 pixels. Choose the same color for this font. After this, go to Elements. Add a square shape. Adjust its size and position. Duplicate the text. Type shampoo. Change the font size to 18. Change the font color to white. Adjust its position. Duplicate and add your next text. Choose the Montserrat regular font. Change the font size to nine pixels. Go to Elements and search Beauty Woman logo. Go to the Graphics section. Add this one. Adjust its size and position. Change its color also to blue. Now we'll add some details of the product on the front.
Duplicate the background shape. Place it on the back section area. Duplicate the logo. Place it on the top of the canvas. Now add a rectangle shape. Duplicate and place this text. Now we'll add some details on top. After this, go to Elements, then Frames. Add a circle frame. Adjust its size and position. Duplicate and add two more. Now, go to Elements and search Woman Washing Hair. Go to Graphics. Add an image to the first frame. Then search Woman Drying Hair. Go to Graphics. Add an image to the second frame. Next, search Woman Brushing Hair. Similarly, add an image to the last frame. Now, add text under the images. Now, we'll add directions for use. Next, we'll add warning text. After this, add ingredient details.
go to Elements. Then add a divider line. Set the stroke weight to 2 pixels. Choose the color blue. Duplicate the line and place it under this text. After this, we'll add barcode and manufacturer details. Now, rotate it to negative 90 degrees. Rotate the barcode also to negative 90 degrees. Change the colors to indigo. Now, go to Share. Then, Download. Choose PDF Print. Then choose the CMYK color profile. In this way, you can download a ready-to-print file and send it to your printer. Now, delete the die line then download it in PNG format for making a product mock-up for our packaging. Return to Pactora. Click on Upload, add your design. Now, adjust its size and position on the die line Click on Save, then go to Custom Material. Click on Body, change the body color to match your design. We'll change the bottle opening color to indigo, and the lid to light blue. Our label design for this product is ready. Now, adjust the product angle. Go to Background. Click on AI. Then, create AI background. Pactora automatically uploads your image and removes its background. You can adjust product position here. Now, you can choose a ready-made template background from here. We'll take this one. Click on Generate to get the image. Here's the result. Click on Export to download your image. In this way, you can easily create a label for your product using Pactora.
and also create these amazing images. To explore it more and get special discounts, check the link given in the description. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments, and I'll see you in the next video.